Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, I'm gonna to show you what the IRS just said about the $10,200 of tax-free unemployment insurance income. That is the provision that was added to the third stimulus bill, the $1.9 trillion stimulus bill, that gives you the first $10,200 of your unemployment insurance income received in 2020 tax free. This could save you up to $3,000 or more depending on your tax bracket. That is real money that you can get back in your refund. I'm going to tell you the latest on what the IRS has said about this so that you could take advantage of it. So all I ask is giving a quick like to this video and sharing it with any of your friends or family members who are going through the same thing and want to know the very latest on stimulus and of course this specific provision on unemployment insurance tax free the $10,200 of tax-free unemployment insurance income and what to do if you want to take advantage of that. With that being said, my name is Kevin Conway. I make stimulus news updates and other personal finance videos all the time. So subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Now let's get right into the very latest. So here's what we do know. In the $1.9 trillion stimulus bill, $10,200 of your unemployment insurance income is supposed to be tax-free. The problem is that's retroactive to 2020, and a lot of you have already filed your taxes for 2020. And some of you haven't filed your taxes for 2020 quite yet and aren't sure what to do. How are you supposed to take advantage of this free, tax-free nature of the money? Again, this could be $3,000. Well, the IRS released a, a new statement and I'm gonna read it to you here in full. I think it's very important to actually just tell you verbatim what the IRS has said thus far. So here we go, we're on the IRS website and they say the IRS is reviewing implementation plans for the newly enacted American Rescue Plan Act of 2021, that is the third stimulus bill. Additional information about a new round of economic impact payments, aka the stimulus checks, the additional child tax credit, which is a program that I'm gonna be doing a video on telling you how you can take advantage of that, and other tax provisions will be made available as soon as possible on irs.gov. The IRS strongly urges taxpayers not to file amended returns related to the new legislative provisions or take any other unnecessary steps at this time. That's the first thing that they're saying. Do not amend your tax return if you're trying to get either uh, unemployment insurance tax-free or the child tax credit or the uh, stimulus checks. We're gonna talk about that in a second. The IRS will provide taxpayers with additional guidance on those provisions that could affect their 2020 tax return, including the retroactive provision that makes the first $10,200 of 2020 unemployment benefits non-taxable. For those who haven't filed yet, the IRS will provide a worksheet for paper filers and work with the software industry like TurboTax or H&R Block in order to update it so that taxpayers can determine how to report their unemployment income for their 2020 tax return. So here's what we know. The IRS this week, likely it'll be this week, will release a, a, a little sheet that you can do if you're filing, you know, if you have a CPA or you're filing by yourself, or they're gonna work with TurboTax or Tax Act and all those other places to update their software. So if you haven't filed yet, you will be able to file and get this $3,000 back in your pocket, up to $3,000 or give or take, depending on what your tax bracket is. You know, you're able to get the $10,200 tax-free of that unemployment insurance income. For those who received unemployment benefits last year and have already filed their 2020 tax return, the IRS emphasizes that they should not file an amended return at this time until the IRS issues further guidance. That's pretty straightforward, but basically here's what it means. You gotta wait if you haven't filed already just another week or two, wait until the IRS releases more information so that your tax software or your CPA or yourself can have the worksheet, the work paper, the software in order to take advantage of that $10,200 deduction. It's essentially a deduction. And if you've already filed, again, you just have to wait for another week or two, maybe, in order for the tax, uh, the IRS to release a worksheet or work paper for you to file and send in to them. I imagine that if you've already filed, the IRS will simply release a one page or a two page uh, sort of PDF that you fill out and send in to them. And then you'll basically get a check in the mail. It's not going to be a, a full amendment of their tax return. There's millions and millions and millions of tax returns that need amending if they were to say that you need to amend it if you want to take advantage of this. So I imagine they're just going to have a simple one-sheeter or a two-page thing that you fill out 
and send in. As soon as we have more information on both of those things, for those who have already filed and those who haven't filed yet, I will be making a walkthrough video showing you exactly how to actually get this money back into your pocket. Again, $10,200 is the deduction that you can get. It is tax-free, the first $10,200 of your unemployment insurance income. Everything above that is taxed at ordinary income rates. So be aware of that if you're currently on unemployment or are going to be on unemployment for the next couple of months. You need to save for taxes there because we don't know what 2021 will bring if Congress will extend this provision again. But 2020, they do have the $10,200 of tax free here in this unemployment insurance income. One additional thing, if you live in a state like California or New York, you're gonna have to pay state income taxes on your unemployment insurance income. This is only the federal unemployment insurance income provision. So if you, you have that $10,200, it's only good for deducting off of your federal tax return. And if you're on the fence about whether or not you should file now, I would suggest that you wait for at least a couple weeks, but don't extend it past April 15th, the tax deadline. Be sure to file by April 15th. But if you wait for just a week or two, I'm sure the IRS will have more information so you don't have to deal with subsequent you know filling outs of sheets in order to get this money back in your pocket. You could just file your taxes in one fell swoop with the IRS form that they're going to be releasing. But that's pretty much what we have right now. The IRS is officially saying, you should just wait to get this sheet before you file your taxes if this would apply to you, if you can help it. And if you've already filed, just wait another week or two or so, and we will give you the sheet in order to get that money back into your pocket. That's what we know for right now. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments below. And if you have any questions on stimulus checks, whether or not you qualify, and the child tax credit, and the renter's insurance, and the EIDL program, look at my other videos, or comment below with specific questions that you have, and I will do my best to answer them, or make a more in-depth video in the future, breaking it down. Now, that's pretty much all we have for today. Leave a comment below, give a like to the video, subscribe, and share this video with those that you think it might benefit. I'll see you next time, thanks. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna to be talking about stimulus finance updates here with stimulus. <laughs>